हेलो गाइज हाउ आर यू आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेर इन यूर लाइफ वेलकम बैक टू डेव टाउन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोना कवर ऑब्जेक्ट्स इन जावा स्क्रिप्ट सो प्रीवियसली ऑल्सो आई हैड टोल्ड यू गाइज दैट इन जावा स्क्रिप्ट एवरी थिंग इज ऑब्जेक्ट मेड बी एरे और वेरिएबल्स बट हाउ आई एम गो नो शो यू दैट इन टू डेज वीडियो डोंट वरी अबाउट दैट सो लेट इस जम्प ऑन टू वी एस कोड्स एंड लेट इस डू सम प्रैक्टिकल अबाउट ऑब्जेक्ट्स सो हियर आई हैव ओपन माई इंडेक्स डॉट जी एस फाइल सो बेसिकली इन रियल वर्ल्ड ऑब्जेक्ट्स आर द रियल रियल वर्ल्ड एंटिटीज दैट वी कैन से इफ यू टेक एग्जाम्पल ऑफ एनी पेन पेंसिल और एनी थिंग दैट वी सी इन अवर रियल वर्ल्ड इज ऑब्जेक्ट्स ओके सो बेसिकली इन इन जावा स्क्रिप्ट ऑल्सो लेट से इफ यू वॉन्ट टू पॉइंट टूवर्ड्स वन थिंग सो दैट थिंग इज कॉल ऑब्जेक्ट्स ओके इन इन अ वेरी रियल सिंपल वर्ड राइट but how do we represent objects in javascript so object is basically a collection of uh, many things that that can be the value that can be uh, values in pairing syntax let's say if we have to name someone if we if you want to store the name of some person so what we can do we can store the name like uh, with the field name name and its value let's say dev town is the name right but how to do that and how to implement this so let us see so let us get started so first of all for uh, creating javascript objects what we have is javascript javascript literal syntax right so what is this javascript literal so basically let's say i am uh, declaring one variable uh, let's say obj for object and i am using this curly brackets so this is the basic basic javascript literal syntax for declaring java uh, like objects so how do you know that this is object so let us do one thing let us just log object okay log obj and i am saving this and let us just run this one time see what i am getting hello world and below this i am getting this uh, this object but how do you guys know how do you guys say that this is object so for that we are just using this type of operator just to find the type of obj i am saving this thing and let's run this one once more time i am getting object right so that's the object right but how uh, but still we are not getting how to uh, apply different properties inside this object okay so for that we have uh, literally two two three things i can say so first of all let's say in object we are including values in key value forms so let's say i am including name and i am giving it a value of dev town right okay so name is the key and dev town is the value so key value pairs are there in objects so there can be multiple key value pairs inside one object right so let's save this and let us see once more time okay actually i just need to remove this type of operator from here to see my how how what my object contains yes here you can see that my object contains one key value pair with the value with the key of name and value of dev town yes so i think we are clear up to this point so let's say uh, we are including some more key value pairs let's say name dev town ct so ct we can include let's say bangalore bangalore and what we can say establish let's say establish and let us pass it a value of 2019 let's say okay so i am passing it a value of in the number format so that's why i have i haven't given the quotes over here okay so let's run this and see yes i am getting my whole object in a very proper manner okay so the next thing is what i wanted let's say if i want to access the a uh, very uh, first property that is name and how to access this particular property let's say i want to print dev town only here in my console so what to do in that case so for that we have a uh, similar uh, different properties let's say we need to like uh, print dot and after dot see am i able to see there are uh, a key key names of my object so like how doesn't matter how many keys are there so my vs code will show me that key name so ct establish a name i'm getting so let's say i i want name so i'm just clicking on name and let's save this and run this one more time and you will be able to see that i am get, getting dev town in my output correct 
so this that's the way to access the key uh, the, the value of particular key in object right so the next thing is that let's say and also one thing is let's say if you want to access the name property we can also do something like this using the square brackets as well All right okay so it is actually giving me error so why it is giving me error first of all okay so i will tell you guys see whenever we want to uh, let's say I, i want to find the value of this particular name correct and i am i'm storing this name in something like this and i'm storing the name value key value in my strings and now let's say if i try to run this code once again see it is giving me dev town but how it is possible that it it, it was not giving i uh, mean name previously let's say if I, if i comment this line and run try to run this thing it is giving me that name is not defined object of name is not defined right so basically what happens is whenever i tries to uh write this thing let's say if i try to write this thing over here object dot name am am i saving this thing and running this it will give me dev town that's the uh, up till this we are right uh, correct right so if i uh, uncomment this line and now let's try to run this thing still we are getting dev town correct it is just because i have uh, i have uh, implement dot over here and after after dot whatever uh, come here if it is a key present in my particular object then it will not give me any kind of error but if i am using square square brackets okay so it uh, so the value uh, inside the square bracket should have something stored by the uh, key name right so that's why i am doing this like this okay so someone want uh, so let's say there is one user and he wants to search for the property of city name so he will do like this so let's say the city is coming from elsewhere so right now i am uh, putting here it is uh, it's a very static thing but just uh, for your understanding i am like doing this okay i am running this thing and see i am getting error because i haven't changed this thing name so instead of name if i am if i try to put the user over here i am saving this and if i run this one more time see i am getting bangalore in my output okay so that's the right use case of these square brackets also there is one use case uh, for the square brackets so let's say i am doing something like this uh let's say we want a founder we want the founder of dev town so i will type shourya sinha let's say and also there is one another founder ashish sir ashish modi let's say and yes i am simply saving this thing and instead of user if i am using founder like simply i am using founder nothing else but and i try to run this still it is giving me error are you getting this guys so i cannot directly use founder over here and here itself if i try to do something like this let's say i am removing this okay i am removing double quotes from key name and if i run this still it will give me the same error that my founder is not defined and if i try to do something like this in single quotes okay and if i run this see what we are getting what we are getting is the same same output correct so if you took any object if you took any key name you need to pass it before use like this founder and let's say i am using user over here below this user i am using saving this thing simply saving this thing and running this thing then what i am getting is shorasiya and ashish modi right so that's uh, that's how we are using this square bracket to find out the properties which we are getting which we are getting from the user so this is how the object works so i think i have covered the introduction to object topic very precisely and you should not have any uh, uh, queries about this object so we are going to see the object properties 
classes and many more about many more things about objects so don't worry about that so yeah let me show you one more thing about object let's say i am using this index.html page page and i am linking this page with me i with my uh with my index.js page with the help of this script tag i am using src i am giving index.js page over here and let's let us try to run this thing with the help of our open live server okay so it is starting on port 5500 let me see by inspecting this thing and yes what i am getting is shourya and ashish modi so let us do one thing let us try to print object only yeah oh it is not obj cd it is simply obj saving this thing going back to my browser let's refresh this thing and see guys what i am getting i am getting name dev town and all the properties of my object but below that we are getting something known as prototype constructor is property to string like so there are many many things there are so these all are the ob properties of object and what is this prototype inheritance is there so we are going to see all this thing in detail in the upcoming videos so up to then up till then just keep practicing this object part and i will see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching bye bye